What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has introduced a brand new update for one of its powerful applications called One Hand Operation Plus, which is a well-known app among the Samsung community. Now this app enables us to use the phone in one single hand. We can use different functionalities for different swipe gestures on the device. I have made multiple videos in the past and uh, more or less all of you guys are aware of this module. And now Samsung has pushed out a brand new update. As you can see, the latest version is 7.3.19 o and the update was received on 25th december but i just got the update today and the size is 8.16 mb now this update is specifically meant for the one ui 7 beta program as you can see in the change log it says supports one ui 7 beta uh, this doesn't mean that it was not supported uh, till now even on one ui 7 beta one hand operation plus uh, application was working well but uh, it seems that they have added a couple of more functionalities which is more interesting for those of you who use this application. Now, uh, the second point says supports on-off function through the routine function. And the third point says supports dual messenger execution, start app slash quick launcher, etc. And then bug fixes and stability improvements. Now, in this quick video, I will break down all these features for you guys. So keep watching. But before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. You get to learn a lot about Samsung Galaxy phones or other Android phones. Tips and tricks, new features and new updates, all that is happening around your device will be updated to you guys on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe. Now let me open the application here. Now this is one hand operation plus. We have got left handle, right handle on which we can set different swipe gestures, different functions for swipe gestures. We have got a straight right, diagonal up, diagonal down now for those of you who are new to one hand operation plus application let me just quickly show you what this can do now i have selected a specific function for diagonal swipe down from the right edge of the screen i'll just swipe down here you can see i have selected start recording with screen recorder that is quickly accessible in just one single hand all i need to do is just swipe down to access this menu when i swipe up I've got the quick toggles, brightness bar, and all that is accessible right here. Likewise, I can set different shortcuts for different swipe gestures on this application. Now, let me check the change log here again. It says supports on off function through the routine function, which means now on Samsung modes and routines, we can turn on or off one hand operation plus application. Let me show you that. Let's go to settings here. I'll tap on modes and routine. Now here, let me create a routine, I'll tap on plus. Now for if condition, I will select start manually. Now this is just for the uh, for the purpose of the video, I'm creating this routine. This can be done in a better way, uh, but this is start manually, which I've selected. Now then condition, we have got one hand operation plus integrated here. Let me just scroll down here. This is where you will see GoodLock app. Since One Hand Operation Plus application belongs to GoodLock family, uh, this new function is available under GoodLock. Let me tap on this. This is where you will see One Hand Operation Plus. Here we also have a few other GoodLock module functions which can be selected. For example, Sound Assistant. We have got Routines Plus, all that is available here. Now Samsung has added gesture settings on or off on the then conditions. Now let's say I select gesture settings here. We get two options on or off. Let me select off. I'll tap on done. Now this routine has been saved. I'll just save this done. Now this routine is saved. Now I will be able to add this routine to the home screen. Let me just add this widget on the home screen. I'll tap set as widget, tap on add. Now this widget is available right here. Now, whenever I do not want the one hand operation plus to be active, I can just run this routine. Since I've selected it as start manually, I can just tap on this. Now this routine is running. Now the one hand operation plus uh, is disabled. As you can see, I do not have the swipe down gesture here or swipe up gesture here. Now, if I enable this, or let's say if I turn this routine off, I will be able to use the one hand operation plus here. As you can see, I can open the quick panel. I can open the uh, recording which I have set here, the screen recorder option which I have already set. We can disable it quickly by tapping or enabling this routine which we have already created. And this is more of integration with modes and routines. The second one is supports dual messenger execution, start application and quick launcher, etc. Now, if you have dual messenger application on your phone, then this particular feature will be applicable to you. I don't have any dual messenger applications, but let me just quickly show you this. Let me open one hand operation plus, turn it on and uh, I will select the left handle, diagonal down. Now here I will scroll down. You will see we have got this option here, start application. I'll select this. Now we have got the application list here. If you have a dual messenger, 
that will also show up right here. You will be able to use two messenger applications to execute functions on one hand operation plus application. Now that's the second feature that we have got on one hand operation plus. Next, we have got some bug fixes here as uh, it is mentioned, bug fixes and stability improvements. If you are on One UI 7, if you're facing any issues using one hand operation plus application, this update should sort out those issues. It should stabilize the application. Now, uh, along with the One UI 7 beta support, we have got a couple of new options that may be applicable for all other users as well. Even if you're not on beta, you may get this update with uh, the uh, rest of the features here, which is mentioned. Let me know if you've got this update or not, drop a comment. Uh, that's all I want to share with you guys. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel and do not forget to hit that like button. That would really motivate me to keep going. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.